What's up, everybody? Welcome in once again to another race here in Binding of Isaac's second, uh, Binding of Isaac Racing League second season. Wow, if only I could talk. My brain has turned to mush already, ladies and gents. So much Isaac. My brain is mush. Anyways, welcome in one and all. So let me get this flipped on over. And we got ourselves another good race here tonight. As if my screen would flip over. Haha, -ha, it flipped over. Winning. Uh, so again, on the left-hand side, we got Mr. Rob Snowlock, your Washington Redskins representative. And on the right-hand side, we got Moskill, your Dallas Cowboys rep. So again, both in the same division, both fighting for a little bit of, pl of, uh, of, uh, of playoff positioning within the division. Looking for the tiebreaker between the two. Wow, I can't talk anymore. Oh, man. It's going to be a long night, guys. We've got another race after this, too. <laughs> Prepare for derpage. Prepare for a lot of derpage. Anyways, for anyone new, we race Isaac at best two out of three through the womb, too. So, again, whoever kills off Mom's Heart first is going to get a point at the bottom of the screen where you see the zeros. On the way down, there are seven, aka Deadly Sins, uh, banned items that you cannot pick up in these races only, keep in mind. So, those are Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, Ipecac, Dead Sea Scrolls, Holy Bible, Toothpicks, and the Shovel. So again, all of those can be D6, but only those items can be. Anything else that you happen to reroll, you cannot take. Even if it turns into a banned item, nothing else you can do with it there. You just have to leave it behind. Uh, again, there's also been a few things. <clears throat> cough, cough, Moscow, we're looking at you, where if you pick up a banned item, you have to flat out reset. So again, uh, calling you out a little bit there, but you know, yeah, it had to be done. <laughs> And if anybody needs any of the links, let me get all these things in uh, chat for you here. Boiler.org is where you can get all the results on the front page, let alone all the standings on the, obviously, the standings page within it. You'll see all the stuff at the top. Playoffs page won't work yet. Wait until about mid-season. We'll get that updated for you. Let's see. What else am I missing here? Click to tweet. Moss picked up a Bible at one point. He just face planted an item. Oh, let's see, what else am I forgetting? There's the team page. What else am I forgetting? There's gotta be something else. Ah, whatever. Uh, anyway, so are you guys on a uh, call together? Assume that you are. If you are, go ahead and call your own uh, countdown whenever you guys are ready. If not, let me know, and then uh, I will get the uh, countdown getting going for you. Yeah, they're on a call. Right on. So anytime you guys are ready, feel free. And again, good luck to both racers. We're going to race on down through the womb, too. So again, best two out of three. Good luck to you guys. Both looking for a couple wins. Or for a couple wins. Both looking for a win here tonight to move up in the division standings. Wow, I can't talk. Going to be a long night. We know a little bit about Rebirth. Let me get you the link to the uh, interview that I did with Edmund. There you go. That'll get you a YouTube link. That'll get you an interview where I kind of asked a few questions. He gave away a little bit about it, but not a whole heck of a lot. Anyway, starting off our race here, we got Demon Baby on the left for Rob. So again, very nice little follower. Anything that gets close, it'll fire out tears. Rob, or I'm sorry, Moscow on the other hand, on the left or right hand side, uh, has got number one. So going to be at very close range, though. Gets very high tier rate and a little bit of damage up in the process. Again, bear with the frame drops on Rob's end tonight. He's having issues with his internet. Welcome to dealing with the internet. Yeah, team piss. So Mosk is going to have to faceplant everything, like I said, till he gets a little bit of range up. So it makes it a little risky on the first few floors, but that can be a pretty overpowered item if you get some range. I'd like to be known as Bass Ackwards. Thank you. <laughs> Simmy. And we got the pentagram as the first boss room item. So Rob moving on down with a little bit of damage up here. Going to go into his curse room. Ooh, Guppy's Paw, and a little bit more health up. Guppy's Paw will turn any Red Heart container, full or empty, into three Soul Hearts for you. So three more Blue Hearts anytime he wants them off of those three Heart containers. And again, we see Moss moving on down. Excuse me. Speaking of range up, with Mom's heals, exactly what he's looking for. So he can stay a little further away from enemies at this point. Not a whole heck of a lot, but every little bit of range is going to help you. Hierophant will spawn two soul hearts for him. He's going to wait to go into this uh, room first. And spend him one that he already had. Nothing real special. And into the second item room for Rob. Going to get the Forever Alone attack fly to float around him. So anything that that moves into is going to take some severe damage. That will rip through some boss fights early on. 
There's that Hierophant usage. About 11 cents and another bomb and another uh, Soul Heart for that matter from Moss. So he's got a very nice health build going at the moment. There you see that uh, friend or uh, Forever Alone Fly doing some real work for Rob on the left side. He's going to get some health up and move on down to the caves first. Moss ripping right on through with one perfectly timed bomb. So pinned down, a little bit of health up into a Devil Deal. Hmm. Spirit of the Night and nine lives, Dead Cat. Spirit of the Night would be flying in Spectral Tears. I was going to say maybe Moss didn't see that one Soul Heart that came out of the fire, but yes, he did. So that'll make it worthwhile. So he's going to take the flying Spectral Tear combination of Spirit of the Night. So all this money is now fair game. Also, as soon as he grabs the rest of it here, he's going to get that treasure map out of the store. And that will reveal the entire floor, not the entire layout, but it'll give you the entire, well, it will, it'll give you the entire mini-map you can see, but won't tell you exactly what room is what. And again, moving on into Caves 1's boss fight already, Rob has uh, found it through his Curse of Darkness, where you cannot see his mini-map. But Pestilence getting torn to shreds once again, really good item there with that Forever Alone attack fly, that does some real damage for you. We got the Book of Sins for Moscow. It'll replace his D6. That'll be a one, uh, when you use it, will spawn one item, whether that be a heart, a key, a coin, a bomb, something of that nature. We got the first orbital Cuban meat for, ooh, let's see those no shovels also for Rob. He's also got a uh, Book of Belial in here. He's considering it. I'm eh, going to say no thanks to it and move on along. That would have been a time and a half damage multiplier every time he used it. But there's a no shovel emote and one of the uh, subscriber only emotes that'll be here for the length of uh, the Boiler League. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> no shovel from a non-sub. Those work too. Again, shovel is banned because every six rooms that would allow you to skip a floor. So let's say Rob took that. He would go down to Caves 2, immediately use it, and then that would get him down to the Depths 1. Six uh, rooms later, use it again, Depths 2, so on and so forth. Makes it a little overpowered in a race situation in a speed run that's beautiful. But again, we're doing races, not speedruns per se, so we had to ban some items just to make it a little more even. But again, if he had his D6, he would have been able to re-roll it and possibly get something else. Now at this point, he's also got Judas's Tongue. That's Rob we're talking about. He's also got Brother Bobby, a follower with, again, pretty low damage tiers, but hey, it's damage up. See Moss getting the uh, deck of cards, so you see a moon card will teleport him directly into a seeker room whenever he wants. Uh, again, though, uh, where was I going with this thought? Uh, Judas's Tongue uh, will turn any... Wow. Nice hidden room there for Mosk. Uh, either way, lots of money. Uh, but again, the Judas's Tongue will turn any Red Heart deal in a Devil deal down to one Red Heart cost. So very nice find there. I'm going to go grab another Moon card for Mosk. Oh, very nice find. Oops, speaking of uh, the internet over there, lo and behold, Mosk getting a uh, one frame drop there. Two dimes in one Seeker room. Who would have known? And again, more money for Moss because he's moving on through. Goodness. All the money forever. I don't see the shovel all that often. I'd say it's a pretty rare spawn. I wouldn't call it one of the rarest, but I definitely don't see it too often. You're really only going to see it in secret rooms and devil deals. Possibly in a curse room, but eh. Again, don't worry about the frame drops. That's going to happen. Rob's having issues with his internet tonight, so from time to time you'll see that happen, but it'll catch itself right up before too long. Just like that. And Rob finding his boss fight, for that matter. Again, Moss looking at a curse room here. Eh, a couple of pills. Eh, let's take that moon card not take the damage on the way out, so ports right into a uh, secret room. Wants nothing to do with it, so right on out. Uh, Profane, you have the exact issue that Morag had last year, where every time he seemed to use the Dead Sea Scrolls, he gave him a shovel usage. That's why we banned it again this year, because that's one banned item. Ooh, speaking of Judas's Tongue coming in handy for Rob, again, all Devil Deals that cost Red Hearts are only one Red Heart. So he's going to take Technology, and that Laser Tear will be very, very useful for Rob as he moves on down to Depths and gets himself a Curse of the Labyrinth XL floor. So two Depths Floors in one, immediately finding the first of two uh, item rooms. Getting Horror Babylon as well, for that matter. I was going to say, wait for this. So that will be permanently enacted because Rob does not have a chance to get any red hearts here. So he's going to use Guppy's Paw, get all of those blue hearts, three for each of his blue heart or red heart containers, and now Horror Babylon ups his damage immensely every room that he's in. Beautiful, beautiful choice right there. Great finds. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
So again, looking for one more item room, and then uh, Rob will also have two back-to-back -back boss fights. But you can see the size of that technology laser already looking pretty darn amazing. And uh, Rob may actually be willing to skip that second item room as he's come across his two boss fights already. This is a ridiculously quick-looking run here with the rate that this floor just went. That was a short Depths XL. So again, first of two boss fights will be Gish. He'll wind up with a little Gish here. Ooh, Mosque with Kamikaze. We've seen this item used before. Mosque was actually the one that kind of uh, showed us a, uh, uh, don't want to call it a glitch per se, I guess it is. Uh, but with, uh, uh, if you hold on to the walls basically. And again, uh, normally with Kamikaze if you do that, we already knew about this glitch. Uh, which is perfectly allowed. But uh, Mosque did another one where you take no damage with it and you can actually still open doors. Which is the, uh, the backfire to the glitch of taking no damage with Kamikaze. If you opened a door you would take damage. There is one tile you can stand on where you're okay. And Moss did that in one of the races, so that's a dangerous item for that man. But we got Little Gish following around now for Rob, and he's going to go into a blue Mom Heart fight, so nothing but expansion level enemies spawning. Moss will just about halfway through his Chad fight. He'll wind up with Little Chad that'll spawn red hearts for him every couple of rooms he clears. All right, so Rob just about to finish off Blue Mom here. You got to watch out for the shadow spawning because you do not want to kill Mom's foot. If her shadow is on the uh, on the map whatsoever, you're going to take damage. Ooh, Judgment Card, not a half-bad find. The other thing that we see here, let's find out real quick. Judgy, please. Two more cents. Oh, how about that? Some speed up for Rob. So the, uh, the belt will give him some speed up. The Polaroid, however, will replace Judas's tongue. Now, every time Rob gets hit, he gets a five-second invincibility damage shield. Invincibility and not invince, whatever. I can't say words tonight. You get the idea. He's invincible for five seconds. Uh, every time he gets hit, again, because he has under one full red heart, and again, he has none, actually. So every time that happens, if you're the blue baby again, for example, exact same theory. And Mosk with a loading screen, no luck off of it, though. Though lucky enough with his brimstone here again, forgot to mention that, so we got a hell of a combination of items here. Brimstone on the right, we got technology with a pretty good size uh, damage tier going on the left. But Mosk immediately finding an item room. Nothing he can do about it though. No key, so he'll be working his way back there, but again that loading screen, kind of sort of indicative of getting an XL floor, but if you see it take that long, chances are you're getting nothing special out of it. But right now Mosk could use the catch up time. There you see Polaroid given the 5 second damage shield I was referring to. Yeah, Moss spent some health to get that Brimstone, so he's very, very low on health at the moment. But again, Brimstone, quite the game-changing shot, as you can see. So I can't really blame him for taking it. I do it every time I get the chance. Brimstone is an automatic take item for me. And if you have something like uh, number 1, where you get a charge time like this for Moscow, where it's almost nothing, absolutely take it. And again, we got Rob fighting death here, so we've seen him quite a bit tonight. So he's slowing down time just a little bit. Nothing real scary at the moment. Already halfway through the fight. That technology laser just destroying stuff for Rob here. <laughs> Simmy. <laughs> and again, he'll be through this fight real momentarily. He'll wind up with a second cube of meat, even though it may lag through that. But you'll wind up seeing the... Uh... Oh, there we go. You'll wind up seeing a second cube of meat, like I said. That'll be a Dirt Boy face, aka Meat Boy, uh, floating around Rob. That'll actually do more damage for him as it shoots out tears, along with blocking shots. I can't believe he actually took that. A little bit more health up here for Rob. He's going to turn that into three blue hearts. And again, there you see the uh, the spawn trick. If you pause right as you take the item and wait to hear all the spawns, you'll actually get both in this case, or all three if you uh, do the other challenge rooms. But you'll get them all at the exact same time. And again, there you see Rob taking a little bit of damage. Not a bad deal, though, because you get five seconds of invincibility if you do. And again, let's see those Mr. Cools, by the way, as Rob's facing uh, Loki at the moment to finish off this room. Getting Moss down to just this one heart. Dealing with greed here. And look at that charge time on Brimstone. So short. Number one makes that so great. All right, so Rob with just this floor to go here, looking for just his mom's heart fight. And again, we race there in the regular season, basically a time constraint. In the, in the postseason, we go a lot further. 
But yeah, that one health run for Mosk at the moment, so he's looking to... Oof, nice dodge. Looking to take out these greed heads as quickly as possible. And let's see another split for Rob. He's going to try left, getting no such luck. Try the top way this time, and again, another dead end. Ouch. No luck for Rob on this one. Casper, internal compass, chop chop. You don't need it anymore this week. <laughs> Yeah, Rob's run is just crazy right now. Like, that really short Depths, Depths XL floor that he had is a reason he is so far out in the lead at the moment. That was a good, what, six room, I believe, XL floor? I mean, it was short. <clears throat> Excuse me, world card there for uh, Mosk. So again, that will actually reveal the entire map of a floor. Oof. Not a room I want to be in right now. I'd be flying over rocks nonstop if I were Mosk. <laughs> These masks are not fun to deal with. And Rob just going to face plant on through over to the right side. And there you see that damage shield every time he takes damage. And Moss just going to go on into his boss fight here. Oh, God, Mask of Infamy. This makes it a little bit easier, though. Brimstone will pierce right through the mask, so that makes this fight far easier. Even with only one heart, it's still a risk. Don't misunderstand me. But it makes it a lot easier here for Mosco. On the other hand, on the left-hand side, we got Rob going into his mom's heart fight right now with plenty of health and a ridiculous build, might I add. And this is a really disgustingly nice, powerful tier on this. So again, you can see how this is uh, very, very useful. Moscow with that very short charge time on his brimstone as well is going to be able to do a lot of damage very quickly to this mass. This may be one of the quicker mass fights this year. Ooh, if he doesn't miss like that, though. But again, already about 20% of the way through uh, Mom's Heart is Rob Snowlock on the right or left side. Sorry, dyslexia. All right, and under 50% of the way, this will actually be enough right there to keep Mom's Heart out the rest of the time. A couple more swings of this technology. He's just going to stand still, let his followers do a little bit of work with him. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, wow, was that a fast run. Holy criminy, was that a quick run. Wow, Mosk had no chance on that one, I'm sorry to say, but Rob Snowlock just trouncing the entire game right there. That was a fast run, sir. Ridiculous build on that one, but my goodness, one to nothing win there, or lead, I should say, for Rob Snowlock. Very nicely done. So we're going to get both of these guys reset. We got round number two coming up right after this. Again, you can see Mosk already resetting. Rob probably just like, can I, can I please just go to the chest with this run? It's so good. It's so good. But no, not even close to the, uh, if it was sub-14, basically, it's still a minute off of the, uh, the best in the, uh, the league this year. About 13.58, yeah, it's still not quite there. But again, I'm going to run a uh, minute worth of ads here. We'll be right back after we get both of these guys reset. And I will see you guys in about a minute. So that way you don't have to see the, uh, the oh-so-fun uh, glitching of the, not glitching of the screen, but the, uh, the resets over and over. Again, we'll get the, uh, the links up in here for you such as how to get into both of their channels. Tell them great race on that last one. Wish them both good luck next time. We'll be right back in about a minute. Alrighty, we're back and we're clear, so Moss is still going to reset for a second or two here, I'm sure, until he finds the room he's looking for. Let's 
Timer's not too hard. How do you control two separate timers? Because keep in mind, they don't start at exactly the same time. So keep in mind, my screens are also completely jam-packed full of stuff at the moment. It's not really feasible. And if you guys want to run timers, run them yourself. It's not that hard. Yeah, Taku's got the, uh, the fast run in the league at the moment. Is it Taku versus... Oh, who is he racing? Um, if he's in here, he'll know. Crap, I can't remember who he was racing that day. Um, oh, I should remember this. Was it against Rob? Ah, I thought it was. I wasn't 100% sure if it was him or Gambit, though. Damn it. Okay, yeah. Amazingly enough, it was actually against one of our racers right now, Rob Snowlock. So if you go back in uh, that Ataku versus Rob video, you should see it. Oh, I know it's still up. Mosk is resetting his run at the moment, unless you really want to watch him just reset a run over and over. Which, by the way, hold down the R button. But unless you want to see that flash over and over again while he resets his run, and resets, and resets, and resets, and resets, until he finds the room that he wants, basically, it's, yeah, it's on the other screen. Wow, he's getting no luck here. Unbelievable reset, bad luck for Moscow. Holy crap. Dude, he's getting like nothing that he wants. By the way, he's looking for a uh, room that's got a item room and a uh, curse room attached to it, most likely. And he's not even getting any that have item rooms. I think I've seen two. And I've yet to see a single curse room attached to one of these starting rooms. <laughs> this has been an insanely bad luck for him. There's a link to get into both Rob and Moscow's channel for you, so wish him both good luck on this round two coming up momentarily. And again, Moss just resetting at the moment, looking for that good starting room. <laughs> He's getting no... There we go. Moss found one. There we go. Finally, we get one with an item room. Huzzah! The game finally gave him something. Unbelievable. <laughs> that was a ton of resets. Moss got nothing handed to him there. That And we're off and running for round two. So again, good luck to both of you guys. And again, we got My Little Unicorn for uh, Moscow, one of his absolute favorite items. Again, you see a little bit of a delay between the two. Again, they're calling their own start. I'm recapturing two streams, so there is that weird delay going on there. So bear with that a little bit. If it gets really close, they're in a call together. We can find out who it was that actually won from them. So again, Moss can quickly take up his head, though. Oh, wow. Really? Moss is actually going to leave behind one of his favorite items. I can't believe it. So uh, the Unicorn Horn would have been seven seconds of invincibility and damage dealing at the same time. One of Moss's absolute favorite items, and he's going to leave it behind in favor of Guppy's head, which you can see spawns two to, I believe, four. Uh, actually, I can give you five. I take that back. Two to five attack flies for you per room. Everybody say, hey. Because, once again, famine showing up. And again, both having internet issues from uh, time to time. Well, mostly Rob having it. We've only seen the one frame drop on the right. But, beside the point, internet issues abound like they always do. So, bear with the uh, frame drops there for a second. <laughs> Cookies. What? Who? <laughs> A little bit of range up for Rob, and he'll be moving on to his uh, basement, too. Almost called him the cave. Sorry about that. Yeah, if that's my one skill in life, I'm not really proud of myself. I hate to tell you that. <laughs> Alright, so both on their basement, too, at the moment. Alright, so all those jump and fire guys, gotta hate him. By the way, Rob is leaving behind that uh, one soul heart in there. He will pick it up later, but he's looking for a curse room just in case. So he'll probably pick it up now on his way out, knowing that he's not coming back here. Getting no, well, he will come back if he gets a key, so maybe he will leave it. Kind of forgot, no key, can't really get into an item room without that. Getting mom's pad for Rob will actually kind of freeze everything in place, push it away from me a little bit at the same time. Got Moss with his one cube of meat floating around him to block shots. There you see that using up his head once more. He's come across his item room again. No cut, uh, no keys for either of them. I 
There you see mom's pad, so you can see everything kind of freezes till you get really close to it, then it's gonna run away from you. There's one of them. Very nicely done with the troll bomb being pushed right into one of his enemies. And again, Rob with kind of a dead end. He sees the store, but no money to get into it, so no, not even worthwhile. And finding himself a, uh, why can I not think of words, challenge or sacrifice room. Dear God, wow, Crumb, speak. And this should attach. Wow, still extra rooms for Rob to go through. Holy crap. It's a huge floor for him. There is Mosky. Ooh, Daddy Long Legs. Very nice. That's the first find today. You see that shadow following around Mosky will actually be a spider leg that'll drop out of the ceiling and damage anything that it hits and does very, very good damage for that matter. What's up, Jim? How you doing, dude? <clears throat> Dad SNES power. How you doing, man? And there you see that daddy long legs coming out of the ceiling. You see one uh, real creepy looking spider leg from time to time. Doing a very good job there on Gertie Jr. Rob into his item room. Gonna get Guardian Angel a double speed orbital. So that'll spin, obviously, like I said, double speed. Uh, block more, or have more chance, I should say, to block shots for you. And also make any other orbital that you get go at double speed. So again, very good finds. Speaking of good finds, we got an eternal heart on Moscow's side. When he takes that onto the next floor with him here. That will actually, ooh, I would not pick up that cursed skull. I was going to say, walk away from it. There you go. Do not go near that thing. Thank you. Anyways, when uh, Moss takes that onto the next floor with him, that'll turn into one full red heart container. That cursed skull, if Moss got down to half a uh, red heart, would teleport him out of the room instead of letting him take any uh, more damage and let him die. If he went into the room at half a heart, fair game. You can die. Again, if you combine that cursed skull, though, with the, uh, the scapular, a.k.a. the crapular, Really, really good combination. You're technically speaking invincible if you do it correctly. I could sign up next year to prove it, but, well, you're banned in my channel now, so that's probably not going to help you in the whole process of proving what you just said. Just saying. You're invincible anyways with that combination. You technically can never die. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get out of some rooms and actually clear them, but with that combination of Cursed Skull and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, on the scapular, you're technically never going to die if you do it right. Oh, let me get the split link up here for you. Alright, so at least Rob knows what bad trip pills look like now. Again, keep in mind on Isaac, and not in the game, on Isaac or any character except for Blue Baby. Keep that in mind. If you're Blue Baby, this rule doesn't apply. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, basically, you cannot die to pills. So any bad pill like that will injure you, like a bad trip, that will injure you for one full heart of damage. Let's say you're at one red heart right now. That actually turns into a full health. Likewise, the, uh, health down would actually turn into health up if you get down low enough on that. The answer to that, uh, uh, Thule would probably be lurking in obscurity. <laughs> and again, we got boom, so 10 extra bombs from Moscow on the right side. Gonna move on into his boss fight and wind up with Peep here. Not the greatest of rooms, but again, ooh, yeah, that's why. If you walk a little too close when it spills out that urine, sometimes randomly it's going right under your feet. And there's the, uh, Diana's favorite type of tears homing because they're purple. But those will do a little bit more help here for Musk. Uh, I believe the pill thing's intentional. Don't quote me on that, though. Yeah, there you go. Diana shouldn't be allowed, like, on those bets to use anything purple in the game. That should be the rule. So no growth hormones, no, uh, no homing shots. 
No uh, crown, obviously, is still added in there. There's a cat of nine fails, as we like to call it. That is shot speed increase on it, 16% for that matter. So your shots will move faster on the screen. Not come out of you faster, move faster on the screen. Keep that in mind. Shot speed is different from tier rate up. Yeah, don't forget no corn. <laughs> There you see Rob used it his mom's pad once again, very much to his advantage. Going to keep some of these greed heads in the, uh, the corner here. At least he got rid of one of them. And Moss doing a very nice job himself. Going to go into his curse room and Guardian Angel yet again. Not what you'd expect in a curse room. So many holy items in curse rooms of late. Either way though, both now have a double speed orbital floating around, let alone Mosk also with that cube of meat. Ooh, Abel, and Rob's going to say no. I think that's the first time we've seen Abel passed on, believe it or not, this year. I don't blame him. I hate that guy. Uh, really, really useless, in my personal opinion. I've had him do, like, one good thing for me. Uh, quite honestly, not useful. He'll do the exact opposite of what you do. If you move left, he's moving right. You shoot left, he shoots right. So you have to really watch out for him. He can screw you over in a lot of different ways. Ooh, nice. Oh, I was going to say that was a nicely placed bomb, but Rob got himself into a serious corner there. So Moss now very much in the lead. Meat gave him damage up and health up. And he'll be going back looking for his item room now. How can he be bad? He can kill enemies when you don't expect him to. They can actually wind up actually hurting you. Because if you get in the center of the room, keep in mind he's going to be back to back with you. So he'll wind up killing some bombs floating around from time to time that you're not expecting. You wind up taking damage you don't want. All sorts of things of that nature. Let's say he accidentally blows up a bomb near like something like Moscow's got in this room. Let's say that he accidentally blows up both of the bombs somehow and like screws over like getting into the center like Mosk wants to right here with this bomb. All sorts of things can screw you over. By the way, he'll move bombs on you, too, with the shots. So I've had that screw me over from time to time as well. Abel, kind of a bro, kind of not so much, though. Here we got another item room for Mosk, and he's going to wind up with Mom's pad, because we didn't see that on the other run also. Weird. Uh, but again, he's going to leave it behind in favor of Guppy's head and those uh, t uh, attack flies. <clears throat> Excuse me. And again, Moss going to move on along. Can't believe we didn't see more Rainbow open, uh, Mies. Usually I ask for it, but usually people just go ahead and do it anyways. Rainbow me, by the way, guys. Because we got Rob with that following him around. Random tears coming out of him. There we go. Ooh, not so much luck. We got the IV bag. However, with an arcade, Moss can put that to good use here. So we'll see if he gets a little lucky. Very nice use of the uh, the IV bag. I like what Mosk is doing here. Getting two extra usages when he uses a blood machine. That's very, very good theory right there. Now let's see, a lot of extra money up. Like I said, there's been a lot of money on these runs tonight. By the way, a little bit of frame derpage, obviously, on the left. Bear with that a second. Maybe Judge gave him something, maybe he didn't. I can't really tell. I don't think he did, though. Ooh, health up in Moss Challenge Room. He's not going to do the uh, spawn glitch, however. He's just going to worry about these one at a time. Non-Cobalt sub Rain Proby? Yeah, that works too. Ooh, my reflection getting picked up by Rob Snowlock. I wouldn't have thought. I really wouldn't have thought, quite honestly, but he's going to take it here. Again, you'll see as the tears move away from him, they'll start curving back. They're kind of interesting. Nope, definitely got nothing out of that Demon Judge. He still hasn't. And one more hit, there you go, Larry Jr. down, one card out of here, the world card, so that'll reveal the entire map to uh, Moscow. Everybody say the ever popular. Hey. Because once again, we got Famine on the left side. So again, a Cuban meat gonna show up for Rob at the end of this fight. Sad thing is, by the end of the season, I'm just gonna have, like, the most, like, ragged voice from doing that so often. <laughs> Anyways, into a, uh, Devil Deal, we got the Mark for Rob, so damage up, you can see his tears are now red, he also gets movement speed increase, and one soul heart out of that. Mosk again gonna go back over and, uh, finish off his floor by walking on through, he'll be onto his depths right after this. 
Again, Rob just moving out of Caves 1. Did eat a death earlier, though, making a very nice run here. So we'll see how this works out. Looks like Moss going to grab uh, all the extra health and uh, coins in the arcade. And now we'll be moving on along. About 32 people flipping off Famine. That's probably more like the actual mascot of Boiler. <laughs> 32 people. One goddamn horseman. This summer. <laughs> Anyways, Moss moving on to his depths. Ooh, we got the virus here for uh, Rob Snowlock. Oh, just a little bit behind on that one. He was trying to do the spawn glitch. I was waiting to see if somebody else was going to do it. He was trying to do that right there. Once you pick up an item, immediately pause. Again, or open up a chest, for example. Immediately pause in one of these rooms. You're going to hear the spawns come in one at a time. As soon as you hear all three, unpause, go right back into the game. All three of them will be spawned for you. And again, Moss right on over to his boss fight here. That world card coming in so handy. He knows where exactly where everything is on the floor. Justice card will be one of every type of item. He'll be right back out after he looks at Greed and says, Yeah, you know what? No thanks. Yeah, moving on into his boss fight war. So once again, we're going to get another cube of meat. That'll be the second for Moss. So again, that'll be one of the better orbitals, quite honestly. And in combination with the... Uh, and again, you can see why. With the Guardian Angel, double speed orbitals, two of them, and especially one that fires out tears. Yes, please. So again, Bob's Curse adding poison to all the uh, bombs that Moscow has. There you see that second cube of meat. And ripping right on through war, no issues whatsoever. That Justice card will give Moscow one of every type of item when he uses it. Well, hi. Hi, random meow cat. You just like to announce yourself today, don't you, buddy? Alright, Mosk into his last item room. Gonna get the bomb bag. Every couple of rooms he clears, that'll spawn a bomb or two for him. Yes, yeah, Spaz is talking. Everybody be quiet. <laughs> that was my cat saying hi to everybody. <laughs> meow, good race. Oof, just missing that one. Wow, that got a little too close on Moscow's side. Yeah, that was my cat announcing he was awake. He's now scratching his uh, scratching post. He's a happy cat. All right, Moscow into a, uh, uh, good lord, I can't think of words. A curse room getting basically the exact same amount of health back that he spent to get in and out of it, so nothing too special there. to do my cat being a little weird again book of shadows for rob of snow or rob of snow lock let me try that again for rob snow lock gives him 12 seconds of invisibility here are you gonna walk over i can't keep my chair turned no apparently you're not Ooh, how about that seven cent candle moss had far away enough money for this anyways but for seven cents moss just got himself a very carry space use item Again, on that note, Rob's getting himself a decent item at the end of this as well for free. He'll get the Lump of Coal, which as his shots move further, and again, that includes the bend back on his My Reflection. His shots will grow in size and damage output, so that's a kind of nice synergy he'll have building there. He wants more Irish Spring. Ah, Foamy the Cat. For those of missing my cat decided to eat soap water the other day. I'm not sure exactly what the hell is up with that. There you see why the candle's so overpowered, and again, you'll see it here. As, <laughs> wow. Moss gets a seriously awesome setup. He gets to bank it off of the rocks and still hit the closed doors here, as will uh, Daddy Longlegs. So, wow, that was a quick mom's fight. Also, two damage up with the pentagram. Also, a little bit of curse up, so you have more chance of a devil deal on just the wound one here. Which Moss will be moving on to. Everything down here hits you for one full heart of damage, keep in mind. Yeah, keep in mind, the uh, blue candle will hit the closed doors, as will the, uh, the lake from Daddy's Long Lake, so that will help you a ton in those fights. 
Yeah, so if you notice on uh, Rob's side, you can really see the tears as they've been back growing in size and again, in, in damage at the same time. So again, my reflection keeps your tears on the screen longer. Cole, the longer your tears move around the screen, doesn't matter where. Long as they're on the screen, they're gonna keep growing in size. What's up, Static? How you doing? So again, Moss ripping right on through his mini boss fight here. Yeah, he shredded it so fastly, the foot only hit once. So it was kind of hard to show that portion of it, but yeah, the foot only hit one time. That's how fast Moss killed off Mom's foot. It was ridiculously quick. So very nicely done on that side. And again, another 12 seconds of invincibility. Rob gonna wind up with another cube of meat here, so we'll get a very early on two-piece meat boy. Doing great, Static. Thank you very much. We got the Ace of Spades for Moscow. That'll give him a higher chance of getting card spawns at the end of rooms. Or out of chess, for that matter. I almost forgot that portion. And gambling. Daddy Long Legs being a bro. Thank you very much. Killing off that last enemy for him. Yep, we all share the uh, same save file, so it is a Platinum God with everything unlocked on it. So every item available to absolutely everybody. And yeah, Rob died on this run. What's up, Ren? Good to see you. So there's Rob's item room. Again, no key to get into it at the moment, so he's going to hope one spawns here. Again, Moss with a little bit of a frame derp for a second or two. He'll pass on through that momentarily. Or go offline. Wait a minute, he's popping back on. Give him one second here, guys. Or maybe not. It thought about loading, but said no. So Rob, you might want to give it a second there. I don't know if uh, Moss actually went completely offline or not. And now you see, Mosk likes the unicorn horn, guys. <laughs> but yeah, Mosk completely offline on my side. And there's the pause by Rob. Yeah, best unicorn drawing ever. How about best smelling of offline ever? <laughs> So again, Rob, gonna pause up real quick while we get Bosco back online. So bear with us really quickly here, guys. <laughs> I love that gif on Rob's side. That Joker gif is perfect. How drone. Ow, I just kicked my microphone. Ow, there goes half of my skin on my knee. That hurt like hell. <laughs> and there we go, Moss popping back online. So there we go, as soon as they get connected again, they'll know when they're good to go. So again, whenever you guys are ready, feel free. Good night, Slap. Have yourself a good one. It just is. <laughs> I like that. It, it's not really like plugged in anything. It just it it, it just kind of is. <laughs> All right, so again, these two will be back off and racing as soon as they get connected to each other again. Ow. All right, I just may. <laughs> How's up, one-ups? How you doing tonight? That snap was my ankle. All right, there we go. Mosk unpausing. We'll see uh, Rob unpausing moments behind here. Again, that's what happens when you see uh, two different uh, casts that I'm recapturing at the same time. There will be that odd delay between the two. So Rob is behind in the first place on that and keeping the same delay so far. So it's all about... Oh, God. Well, that happened. Yeah, my ankle not really in the best of shape, as you could hear there. But yeah, that happened. So Rob down back to the start. Gonna pick up the pack to start up with now, though. So two damage up, uh, one fire rate up, and one... Uh, two soul arts. I can't do math. 
think I can do math. Sorry, wait, it's one damage, two fire rate. I did that ass backwards, too. But again, moving right on along to his new boss fight, he's also got the pinky shears that'll chop his head off from the rest of his body, which will walk around the room doing damage. Makes it so easy, doesn't it, Tanner? <laughs> How you doing, by the way, dude? And here we see the Womb 1 boss showing up for Moscow, so we'll find out who he gets momentarily. Might as well grab that bomb. More the merrier. And, ooh, the Fallen. Very nice find. So he's going to wind up with a Devil Deal item. Notice I did not say just Devil Deal. He may get one of those, too. The Moss definitely going to get an item that would come out of the Devil Deal rooms. Again, applying poison. Very nice use of bombs here by Moscow. And corner in this last one. Very nicely done. Gonna get Brother Bobby, so a follower with base damage tiers. Still a little bit more damage up. Very nice. And using that world card in uh, Utero 2, aka the Womb 2, he's gonna head straight on over towards this boss fight. Again, you see the relic showing up for Rob Snowlock on the left. Every four rooms that would uh, give you a Soul Heart, one of the blue ones. Very nicely placed bomb. A little bit of health up, and he'll be onto his Capes 1. Again, will it be too little too late? Moss just with two more rooms to clear after this and one boss fight here. Yeah, a little bit of DPS. Yeah, never going to argue it, especially going into this fight that winds up taking quite a while, usually. Again, though, DPS is not really an issue for Moss. You can see the uh, the lake popping down. He's got the blue candle. Pretty good tears. He's got the blue candle. Have I mentioned that he has the blue candle? Because he has the blue candle. And a lot of poison bombs, for that matter. So this might be one of the quicker mom fights. Moss walking right on in. Very nice use there of his bomb and blue candle. And double card for time and a half damage multiplier. I was waiting on it. There you see applying poison every chance that he gets here with these bombs. Ooh, nice. I like the double use of bombs here. So already at about 50%, a little bit below. 25, 10. One more blue candle. And there you have it, ladies and gents. We got ourselves a one-to-one -one tie between Rob Snowlock and Moskill. So we're going to a deciding game three between Washington and Dallas here. Very nice races so far, guys. I think that's Mosk running around. Oh, sticky keys. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh, my God. Do, do you want to turn on sticky keys? Fuck no, I don't. <laughs> oh my god, that is beautiful. So Moscow's having some fun running around the room dropping bombs. <laughs> oh my god, that was so beautifully timed. <laughs> Alright, anyways, like I said, we got a one-to-one -one tie. As you can see, they're both going to reset. Give me about a minute or so here for ads. We'll get them both reset, back up and running, and we'll be right back with you on the other side for the decisive round three. Be right back, guys. <laughs>
I love you guys. <laughs> Love you guys. Alrighty, so we're clear here. We're waiting on uh, Moss to find himself a, uh, a good room here to actually start off with. He's still resetting again and getting no luck, might add. Oop, he finally found himself one, so let's flip back over. Right as I was making mention of that, too. Anyways. Isaac's a true musketeer. I love that one, by the way. That is ba -da bum tish but Yeah, best rate ever. By the way, Moss, that's still up, so. <laughs> but again, we'll get round number three started up momentarily here. I'm just making sure he noticed. Thank you guys for raiding a mosque with the Sticky Keys raid. That was so good. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. But again, we are off and running on round number three. We're, we've got the Relic and a Reset on the uh, the right side there from Moscow. So nothing real spectacular there. Let's find out what Rob gets. I'll actually reset his real quick. Anarchist Cookbook. Let me reset his connection. There we go. Much better. Yeah, he was way ahead on that new run. So we got Chemical Peel to start off Moss' new run. Again, hopefully I'm a little more caught up on uh, Rob's. So we'll find out momentarily here. Absolutely, get the dual link. Alright, so that boss fight will wait just a moment here for Rob. He's going to find his item room and see if it's worthwhile to keep this run first. Again, all about race strategy on this one. So again, uh, let's grab that bomb for Mosk. Uh, quarter for Rob, not the greatest thing. Yeah, that's a reset incoming. So again, everybody, say, hey. Damn it. <clears throat> there we go. That worked much better. Oh for one. One for two, not bad, 500. Decent in baseball. Um, either way though, say hey to famine. <laughs> My voice will be gone by the end of the season, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we got Team Bean brewing. Everybody in the NFC East seems to love this item, but we got Team Bean brewing on the left side, so Rob will walk on in, add poison damage to everything with a, uh, well, basically a poisoning fart. Again, yeah, Moscow gonna get himself that first cube of meat. Again, that'll wind up building into full-on meat boy the more and more you get. We'll get to those as we see him. Yeah, come on, it's easy to do. <laughs> But what about Team Poop? <laughs> Don't forget about us. We call this shit Poop. <laughs> the bean's actually a really, really useful item. Uh, you'll see it put to use by a lot of our racers. Rob's probably going to keep that unless he comes across something really good space use wise. Again, there you see that first cube of meat for him as well. Shot blocking at the moment. That'll grow a little bit better on as, or a little bit better as time goes on. Again, bear with the frame derpage here. Ooh, spoon vendor. So once again, Diana's favorite type of shots. Purple homing shots. There you see the bean going in and poisoning things. Again, deal with the frame derpage from time to time. It's going to happen. That's the internet dropping packets. And we're clear of it on the other side. So Rob getting on through his room here. Nothing real spectacular in the curse room for Moscow. Just a couple of attack flies. They are really good damaging, but... Eh, unless you do what he's doing. Walk directly into your boss fight with him. Not that great. This will do a bit of damage to the two mini girdies. Again, if you bomb them, they basically think they've hit a wall. They tend to stop directly in their path. One down, and Moss making very short work of these two. And really nice tears at this point already. Wooden Spoon will add a little bit of speed for Moss, and he'll be moving on down to his caves one. Now, what's this Diana you speak of? <laughs> I fart in your general direction with poison gas. What? Alright, so nothing good for either of them yet. Rob's come across this boss fight. Again, I'll leave that for now. He'll be right on back there. 
Hey, your mother is a hamster and your father smells of elderberries. <laughs> Tanner. <laughs> and by the way, what's up, Gino? How you doing, dude? Totally haven't said hi yet. Ooh, super lust for Moscow. He just wants a hug. Got some pills. More poison, as you see, bad gas. Nothing real special. We're going to hold on to that world card on Rob's side. Again, I say nothing real special, but there you see the bean doing its job, taking care of four enemies for him with just one usage. Again, the bean, very useful, very underrated item. A lot of our racers absolutely adore that thing. And now you see why. I'm doing really good, Gino. Thank you, man. How you doing, Goosey? Good to see you tonight. Yeah, that bean carry. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Now, it's a really, really underrated item, quite honestly. We saw Chatia use it quite a bit last year. One of the few racers that did, and she loved the thing. And it's it's really showing this year why people do. I don't like getting that close to enemies, personally, but that's just me. So, Ooh, very nice find here. Mind you, it was going to happen at some point. Moss didn't have that many more rooms to go. But again, item room attached to your boss fight? Never going to go wrong. A little late on in the uh, the or the uh, the floor to be getting it, but again, not going to complain. Also, not going to complain about the lucky foot. Uh, for Moss, that'll make sure that all of his pills, at absolute worst, are going to be neutral effect. There you see, he gets uh, two soul hearts with one of them right now. Tower card, random six bombs, and or five in this case across the room, almost one hitting the boss. So very nice usage there. And X-ray vision for Rob. Indeed, he's going to be able to get in and out of all of his secret and super secret rooms just by walking in the room adjacent to him. Squeezy for a couple soul hearts and uh, tier 8 increase. We got the pact on Moss side, so that'll replace the hearts that he spent with two soul hearts. Also give him fire rate increase and more damage up. Oh, Diana's one of our racers in the league. All right, a little bit of money for Robin in his secret room. Again, you can see he walks right into his super secret room as well. That's one of the rules that you should know about. Super secret rooms can attach to two rooms if one of them happens to be your secret room. Ooh, green peep. Not what you want to see for Rob here. But again, moving on along at very quick speed. Now it's really, really green peep. Again, that poison damage adding a little bit of extra green. Can't help but notice it. And again, Moss doing a really good job here. Those homing tears helping out quite a bit so far. Another extra key. Definitely needed that. How about some health up? Yes, indeed. So Moss will be fighting a challenge room here for that, uh, or for the reward of one health up. Very good find. Why didn't he take the magnet? Good question. Uh, I can kind of troll you from time to time. Uh, let's say that you got troll bombs in the room. They're going directly at you, and I mean directly at you. Uh, I can kind of hose you over with stuff like that, like it, when you're least expecting it to. That always seems to be the worst time. But yeah, I can actually do a little bit of damage to you as far as that goes, getting troll items near you. Ooh, Moss getting even more health up as he gets an eternal heart off of this, so half that, uh, that half a white heart, I should say. If he finds another on the floor or takes that to the next with him, becomes a full-on red heart container. You see we got some speed up for Rob. He's uh, lagged pretty much right on through moving on to his next floor, but hey, that's casting. So again, very good use of the, uh, the bean there for him. And again, we got both on the same floor right now. Moscow just slightly in the lead because he has come across his item room here. But it's all about timing and who comes across what rooms first. Let's see, Moss going to get five bombs and homing ability on his bombs. So homing tears and homing bombs for Mosk. Hell of a run he's got for Owen. Judgy, no thank you. I don't have enough money. So he'll have Mosk will be moving on without worrying about him. And cleared out that room. Nothing special. Just one extra red heart. There's that boss fight Moss was looking for. So again, uh, pretty distinct lead at this point over uh, Rob Snowlock on the left. And moving on in, he's going to get Chad. So guaranteed little Chad reward off of this. That'll spawn red hearts every couple of rooms and Moss will clear. 
Again, very good bomb usages here. The rest will probably... I'll be damned, he actually killed it with the bomb. I figured he'd save that last one, but there's little Chad. Moving into his devil deal. Ooh. Brimstone and Guppy's Paw. Wow. Um... Wow, that's a hell... Ooh, and neither? Oh, nope. Okay, if he gave you the second choice, Mox is... I guess Mox is just saying, you know what, screw it. Being that I get that health up, might as well. So one red heart coming back to him. Brimstone for one heart. And for the second run in a row, Mox looking at Brimstone here. So again, he's on to his Depths 1. He gets a Necropolis expansion version. And again, this is why you don't want Necropolis levels. These masks, they are nasty. Again, money that Rob doesn't really want to worry about at the moment, so he's going to get himself on through this room. Nothing doing in there. Getting on over to that item room. Wow, very nice bean usage. Everything but one enemy in the room. Very nice. Ooh, another Eternal Heart showing up, so Rob got himself one. Moss right on over to his boss fight. He's going to take that out right now. Oh god, speaking of masks, once again, Mask of Infamy. But again, with Brimstone, this will not be that bad of a fight. So once again, he's going to be able to pierce through any direction of the mask that he happens to hit. But wow. Again, why you don't want Necropolis levels, ladies and gentlemen. The mask. Again, with homing bombs, also another real advantage in this fight for Moskal. Anytime it gets near, just drop a bomb near it, and it's pretty much going to keep homing in. But very nicely done there, like I said. Uh, that is stem cells at this point just health up. Normally gives you a shot speed increase. Brimstone doesn't really get affected by that. Wow, another chat fight. So another little chat about to show up on the left side this time for Snow Lock. There you see Team Beam being used once more. That poison damage doing so much on his run. And Mosk immediately finding his last item room of the run. With the key, we'll see what he gets momentarily. How about 10 extra bombs? Absolutely, so 15 bombs on the right side. And Moss just looking for Mom's foot fight at this point. Yeah, this went down as one of the fastest mass fights. The last one was very close for Moscow, but this one definitely goes down as the fastest mass fight in the, uh, the league this year, if I'm not mistaken. Almost has to be. All right, we got a little chat and a god room for Rob, so let's see what he gets in here. How about the relic? Every four rooms, you're going to get another blue heart. Again, think of those like Minecraft armor. If nobody knows the game that well, you can pick those up at any time you want to. They'll extend off the screen infinitely. Red hearts, on the other hand, think about like Zelda. Uh, basically, you'll have heart containers that you can fill back up, but again, you cannot pick up more red hearts if they are full. So blue hearts are much handier. You get a lot of extra health that way. And yep, we got one more race coming up after this tonight. So let's see, I'm trying to remember who Tornus races. It's uh, the Haku versus uh, Tornus coming up. Wow, that charge time. Mosk had to wait for that charge so he could get rid of the poop that was in his way. <laughs> that charge time just rocked him on that one. Anyways, moving on to his mom's foot fight here. He gets Grey Mom, the original version. Because for Tornus, it's very early. Not everybody lives in the same time zone, guys. We have 32 racers from all across the world. Tornus lives in Latvia. We got Trainwreck JP in Japan. We got CDR Bistro in Scotland. I let him schedule across all 24 hours. Now, mind you, starting next week and every week beyond, there's only going to be a maximum of five races per week because today's going to kill me if stuff like this keeps going on. And the funny part, I don't even play Minecraft, but you get the idea from it. Oh, there you see what I was talking about earlier. Moscow's standing in the shadow of Mom's foot when he killed it off, and that's actually going to give you damage. And a little range up, a little pointless. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, telepills right back out of that fight. So there's how you get back out of Mom's foot fight. Uh, notice there were no doors on that. There will be now. But again, notice that there were no doors on the way in, so let's see what he gets in here. I didn't see, I didn't hear his noise. Maybe he gets uh, something? Nope. 
No such luck. What else does he get for pills? We'll find out soon. He's going to take it on with him. Ooh, bad gas. Nothing really good. That would have been a, basically a one-time use of the, uh, the beam that Rob is using. Yeah, the first race was at 11 a.m. my time. I was on an hour before that, so I've been on since 10 a.m., basically, minus a couple hours off in between a few of the races. And it's now 2 in the morning my time. And there's still one more race. Alright, so Rob moving on to his boss fight. Oh, the bloat. Ugh. Immediately move off to the side, one way or the other, up or down there, basically. Move immediately when you get into this fight, if you know what it is. Because you will get brimstoned otherwise. You saw Rob move just out of the way in time. And I mean just in time. Ooh, skeleton key. Not really going to be worth it for Mosk. He doesn't want to worry about that challenge room whatsoever. Can't really blame him. No, the races this year have honestly been so good, it doesn't get boring for me. As weird as that is, it honestly does not get boring. I enjoy these races way too much. So it seems weird. Yes, I know it's overload like crazy for me, but I enjoy watching this and doing this. So, honestly, no, it does not get boring. I know that sounds cliche, but it's true. Let's see if Moss gets lucky here again. In the womb, you're only looking for boss fights. And again, we are in a best two out of three. And again, Moscow leading right now, looking just for a boss fight here. One more floor to clear, and one more boss fight after that, and he could win the night two to one. Again, Rob playing some quick catch up here. Gonna get on through his boss fight in depths one, move on to depths two, and look for Mom's foot that we just saw Moss fighting. So again, Moss just going to have, well, let's see. There's got to be not that many rooms unless it splits off to the left again. This has got to be it. No, wow. Unbelievable. All right, so we're going to split off to the left. What, one more room probably? Dear God, this floor for Moss. Anyway, Spider by for Rob Snow Lock. So he's going to get a uh, an added effect of slowing onto his shots now randomly. There we go. There's the boss fight finally. Dear God. That was a ridiculous floor. So we got a really nice build going on Rob's side. He's really hoping he can find some pills, though. That PhD has been not completely useless, but I think he's only gotten like two pills since he's picked that up. Ooh, can we get a judgey please for Rob as he's got about 20 cents? We see Death getting rocked here by Moscow. Yeah, 34 rooms. Hey, it wasn't an XL floor this time, so a little different. So yeah, no, I'm having something going, dude. All right, second cube of me from Oscar as he takes out, uh, excuse me, as he takes out death there. So you see now uh, Meat Boy's head will be floating around him, doing more damage as he charges his brimstone. And again, just looking for Mom's hard fight at this point. So again, Moscow looking to even himself up on the year at three and three and give himself the uh, tiebreaker advantage in the division over Rob if he can. It's not all about building the best build, guys. Like, sometimes, like, again, right now, Moscow not really worried so much about his health as he is about just getting through on time. Like, he knows that he, like, he, again, both racers have to win this one. It's the best two out of three. So, again, in a race situation, you're not worried about getting every item or anything. Like, we've skipped plenty of item rooms. So, one heart's not that big of a deal. On into the arcade. Moss going to look for any sort of replacement for that Polaroid, if at all humanly possible. Eh, Ace of Spades, not really that replacement. Judas' tongue, pointless. So Ace of Spades, more uh, card spawns. Wow, this is going to be really hard. He's got the luck foot. I forgot he's only going to win on this thing. 
Two of clubs doubling up his bombs. Never mind, now we're done. Uh, <laughs> Ace of spades again, more card spawns. Uh, Judas' tongue would have made any uh, red heart devil deal into one heart, uh, one red heart cost, I should say. Again, no more devil deals for him, so that's completely pointless. And again, in the womb and everything beyond, you can actually use the blood machine twice for every heart that you're using up. So yeah, no Scatoli for Mosk, and yes, I know it's Scatoli, but I like saying Scatoli because I know it pisses him off. However, that library is going to come in very handy. Ooh, and he's going to take... Uh, that's actually kind of a surprise. Even with a low health there, I'm kind of surprised, but time and a half damage multiplier with Book of Belial over a 12-second damage shield with Book of Shadows. So interesting choice there by Mosk. He wants the damage. Chariot card? Ah, uh, that'll help him out. He loves that. That's a one-time use of the Unicorn Horn. Because, again, it's a race situation, guys. You're not in it to build the best build, all in all. Like, Moss doesn't need money. He's not worried about that. He was just looking to get Scatoli if he could, and not a real big deal. He didn't. As soon as that purple machine blew up, he was really done in that room. But, again, all you're doing is racing for time, and the best two out of three, they have to win this one. So, he's just looking to win the race. He's not looking to build, like, all right, I'm going to the chest, and we're going to get every item in the game, and D6 this. Like, he's not going for that. So Balls of Steel gets some two extra soul hearts here. A little more health up. Yeah, Unicorn uh, Unicorn doesn't get any extra damage up because of the book. Good question, though. I see what you're saying. But no, that doesn't actually help the Unicorn at all. That'd be kind of cool if it did, though. That's actually interesting. All right, so yet another dead end room here for Mosk. I'm assuming this one closest to him up to the top. Again, we'll find out momentarily. There we go. That's where I was assuming that boss fight was going to be. Those keys are utterly pointless for him. Hey, get ready for the unicorn. I was going to say, I told you he loves that item, so get ready for it. That chariot card's going to use that unicorn. Again, time and a half damage multiplier with the Book of Belial. So his uh, brimstone now does much more damage than it originally would. Already getting down to near 50% health left. Dear, wow, that's ripping through this boss fight. He's avoiding the hearts because of the Polaroid. If he gets down to half a red heart, that'll give him a five second damage shield. And again, Cobalt, or Cobalting the game, Jesus Christ, guys, seriously. <laughs> oh, my term is catching on. Again, here, Mosk, ooh, pushing the bomb away from him. Actually, that helped him. He actually hit Shove with it. Very nicely done. I wonder if that was intentional. He'll claim it was. Either way, waiting for the card use. Are you ready for the unicorn? Are, are you ready for the unicorn? Because I think here it comes. Really? You're not going to even use it? Oh, he's going to celebrate with... Nope, there we go. Finish it off in style. Mosk waiting for it. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on, Mom. Die. Oh, really? All right, nobody saw that last brimstone. Mosk finished that off with a unicorn. Nod your head and agree with me. Mosk totally killed that with a unicorn, right, guys? Yeah, you know what? Unicorn. Exactly. That comeback by Mosk. Very nicely done. He was down one to nothing to a ridiculous run on Rob's side. And again, a two straight win comeback. Very nicely done, sir. Very, very nicely done. And you know what?